Hi, in this lecture we are talking about serotonin or 5-hydroxytryptamine agonists and antagonists. Now serotonin is a neurotransmitter and an autocoid that means it is produced locally and has local effects. It is synthesized from tryptophan by hydroxylation followed by decarboxylation. It is found in the GI cells, neurons and platelets. It is involved in many conditions such as migraine, psychosis, GI disturbances and sleep disorders. Now serotonin has seven major types of receptors. We'll, we'll talk about five of them here. They are 5-HT1, 5-HT2, 5-HT3, 5-HT4 and 5-HT5-7. 5-HT1 is present in the CNS and is usually GI coupled that is it is an autoreceptor and decreases serotonin release. It is also present in the cranial, uh, cranial blood vessels, smooth muscle and causes constriction. 5-HT2 is further divided into three subtypes, 5-HT2A, 5-HT2B, 5-HT2C. 5-HT2A are present in the visceral and vascular smooth muscle causing contraction and also involved in platelet aggregation. 5-HT2B is involved in stomach contraction and 5-T 2C is present in the choroid plexus in the CNS, thus increasing CSF. 5-HT3 is present in CTZ, chemotrigger zone, causing vomiting, nucleus of tractus solitarius, and parasympathetic neurotransmission of the GIT, causing peristalsis. 5-HT4 is present in the GIT, causing peristalsis, and CNS. 5-HT5-7 is present in CNS. Now we'll look at the drugs that act at all of these receptors. First we'll look at the 5-HT1 agonists, then 5-HT1 partial agonists, and 5-HT1 antagonists. Then we'll look at 5-HT2A antagonists. There are no drugs for 5-HT2B. And then we'll look at 5-HT2C antagonists. We'll look at 5-HT3 antagonists. And then lastly, 5-HT4 antagonists. Agonists, sorry. Now the 5-HT1 agonist mainly act on 5-HT, 1B and 5-HT, 1D receptors, subtypes. The first drug that we'll discuss here is from the tryptans group. They are mainly used in migraine because of two main reasons. It is, it is a vasoconstrictor and it restores blood flow to the ischemic areas of the migraine, sorry, of the CNS tissue. The side effects include chest pain and throat pain. And it is contraindicated in ischemic heart disease patients. Now the partial agonists act on 5-HT1A receptors. The major drug here is buspirone. It is used as anti-anxiety and as it is 5-HT1A, so remember A for anxiety. Now the antagonist acts at all of the 5-HT1 receptor types and it is mainly ergotamine. It is used in migraine. It is also a partial agonist. It causes vasoconstriction, decreased inflammation, decreased extravasation of fluid and its effect is enhanced with caffeine which increases its absorption as well as vasoconstrictive effect. Now let's talk about the 5-HT2A antagonists which in involve ketanserine, ciproheptadine which is involved in the carcinoid syndrome. Carcinoid syndrome is a tumor in the appendix or terminal ileum secreting serotonin. 
Serotonin syndrome, we already know when increased serotonin is there in the body due to interaction with MAO inhibitors and such drugs. Methyl sergide, methysergide and atypical antipsychotics. Now we'll talk about 5-HT2C antagonists, which is basically one drug, methyl methysergide. It is used in migraine prophylaxis for the same reasons as the previous ones were used. Now 5-HT3 antagonist involves ondan citron and as it is an antagonist at 5-HT3, it, it decreases MSs in chemotherapy and radiotherapy and also post-operatively. 5-HT4 agonist is metoclopramide. I hope that sums up or at least it's a review of all the serotonin receptor types and the major drugs involved in it. Thank you.